Hi, I'm Gwendolyn, daughter of Cody and Christine, and I'm going to be watching and reacting to Sister Wives Season 17, Episode 8. I hope you're able to enjoy this and get as much entertainment and fun out of it as I am as we watch together. Where's the music? I think like it's foreshadowing something. Is it thunder? Christine's been hassling me for months to get all my stuff out of her garage. I'm busy. I've got work to do. I still don't know what the work he does is. And he, like, invests in stuff. If I had not boxed Cody's stuff up out of my bedroom and moved it to the garage, he would have never gotten to it. That's annoying. I don't actually have a space of my own. I don't have a place to put this. I don't have anything. You can just throw it away, too. Well, he doesn't have stuff at Mary's house. He hasn't stayed there for years. He can't have stuff at Janelle's house because she lives in a little tiny trailer. He has quadruple what he needs at Robin's house. Maybe he can do what he made Janelle do and put it in a storage unit. Not really made Janelle do, but she really had no other choice. I have an emotional attachment to this house. Yes, I do. Me too. Listen, I have an emotional attachment to Christine. Okay, okay. So, be a present husband? Uh, I assume that we're splitting all of our assets 50-50. <laughs> Which is funny, because she's already sold off some of the stuff that was ours. That's adorable. So my name is on the property, and I also have this house. So yeah. how about if we just cut it, and I keep everything from the house, and the family keeps everything from the property? Are you talking to a realtor? Yes. She says this is going to sell so fast. Maybe it's just time to do that. Is it? Yeah. Um... Okay, all right. Can I just tell you how thrilled I am that you've agreed? It's not the most fair scenario. The problem is, is Kaidi Pass isn't paid off. I don't think your other house is paid off, though, either. I think it's fair. We gave family money to Christine. We gave family money to Robin to buy her house. About the same amount to both of them. So last episode when he said that they used Cody and Robin's money to buy her house, Janelle's saying that they used family money. It's so interesting. All right, what are you doing with all the bedroom stuff? Selling it. Period, good for you. I helped her get that downstairs and she was so excited. It was a lot of work though. I was like leaving for work or something. And I was like, can we just get this done right now? I gotta go. Like that shit was heavy. I'm sitting here just in this weird place of that everything that was special, the house, the kids, the furniture, everything's just like, this is not mine. Just like that song that goes like, you only need the light when you, when it gets dark. You only need a heart when you let it go and you let it go. It's just like that. Now that he, she's like leaving, he's like, I missing it. It's just like that song. The whole experience, the memories, every bit of this. But you let it go. The trailer was a rude awakening. Taking care of your basic necessities is a lot more work than when I live in town somewhere. But I wake up in the morning, there's the mountain. I, I love being out here. That's cute. Uh, living in a trailer is an absolute inconvenient. It's like every day she's dealing with one new problem. I, I want them to build on the Coyote Pass for Janelle. Like, she's, like, making me excited about it. Christine talked to us a little while ago about, you know, her decision to for sure leave Cody. Hi. Huh. Did not know it would be Robin. How's it going? Good. How are you? Uh, I'm okay. Our family is just getting messed with like crazy. I, it's not messing with. Like, my mom just happened to decide that she wants to leave. Not even decide in the moment. Like, it's like a realization. You didn't say a whole lot. My, did I read you right with Christine? Oh, yeah. I am i didn't trust myself to say anything. It's her relationship with him. We have a relationship with her, too. Supposedly, it doesn't affect us because we're not a part of their relationship. But that's bullcrap. I'm not really sure we have a family anymore. Yeah, that sucks. Just, we still have a family. Yeah. I mean, it's still our family. Yeah. Christine's just not in it. That's, excuse me? No, she's still in it. She's still part of the family. Like, when two parents get a divorce, that doesn't mean that they're no longer, one of them is no longer part of the family. My fiance's dad is still part of the family, even though her parents are divorced. 
obviously you don't care enough to fight for her, for me. And I don't understand that. I'm feeling betrayed. I can't imagine what Cody's feeling. I'm totally getting the, like, he didn't care. That's what I feel too. She's always said how much she wanted the sister wives. When I married Cody, it wasn't just because I loved him. They look like little babies. I agreed to be a sister wife, but I agreed to be an equal. I felt like that Christine was more than a sister wife. I felt like that she was a friend for a lot of years. We believe that this is the family structure that is for us. I love that I can like recognize which babies are who. And then now just all of a sudden, everybody's just changing their mind because it was hard. She wasn't equal. She just wanted to be more than equal. She wanted to be loved without giving love. I disagree completely with that. She was giving everyone love. Regardless of the work that you've done, the sacrifices you've made, why would you say yeah. no, you have to stay even though you're unhappy? It's like when you're going through college and you realize you hate college and you're like, well, I already spent so much money on college. Like, you hate it. Just stop. It's okay. When she was talking, it was like released. Like she had released the relationship on her. Really? Oh, yeah. She said, oh, really? I, I recognize it. <laughs> it's just so familiar. And I've seen Cody give up on me and him. I didn't give up on Mary. But last episode, he did say that he didn't feel like a romantic feelings with her. So in a way, he did give up on her. We can get along, but we can't be together. People have asked me, people are always asking me, like, why do you stay? You don't have a relationship with them. This whole time... I thought he was just working it out with her, but he wasn't doing anything. He was just letting her. I'm just grateful that you're sticking it out. Stick it out. We have to rebuild. I wonder what they mean by rebuild. Yeah, I know, we do. Like more wives? Hang on with me, okay? More children, she's gonna start shooting more out. I wouldn't mind that, I love babies. I just have to watch as they destroy what I wanted. I just can't let it go. It's not destroying it though. That's not what's happening. It's just a divorce. It's still a family. It can still be amiable and loving. And it still is. A lot of us are like even rekindling old relationships. It's like it doesn't mean that it's over at all. Still a family. I would never do anything to this family to hurt it. That's who I am. That's what I feel. I just wish that people could see that. Yeah, I don't think Robin ever like intended on any of what's happening now. Cody used to say to me all the time, why do you have these emotions? I'm like, because I'm human. Jealousy, I think, is a fact of life. And it's valid. But something that I've learned in more recent years is that jealousy is not a bad thing. It's not. It's just an emotion, and you just work through the emotions. Period. That is so emotionally mature. It's like if someone else was in my life that you were having to share me with, you would be like a nutcase. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He doesn't like that. If I were to be giving attention to another guy, I remember this. How would it make you feel? He's like, I'm disgusted that you even say that. The vulgarity of the idea of you with two husbands or another lover um, sickens me. He said, don't be selfish. <laughs> but I think she's missing something. The way guys bond. We'd be playing video games, high-fiving each other, and she would wish that we were actually actually getting some work done. He said, men are useless. We can't help it. I don't believe him. Whenever it comes to, uh, like, my ex, he gets funny. I, say, I just, I think it's going to mess, confuse the kids like crazy. It's going to mess with the kids. I mean, I asked her, you know, that day, and she's like, oh, they're all for it. I can't speak for, like, most of us or especially Robin's kids, but I'm okay with it and I'm happy about it. And I think honestly, most of us are okay with it and happy for, with it, about it. Nobody has asked me my side of the story. The only people that have gotten my side of the story, Robin and Mary and maybe Janelle. And the entire world. But if they're so concerned about why am I leaving and what about being a sister wife, why wouldn't they talk to me? Yeah, it seems like they're just gossiping a little bit. It's like therapy from each other. Ooh. Do you think this was coming before Flagstaff? Truth be told, Mary, she was talking about leaving Cody before he moved to Flagstaff. See, she noticed. Robin noticed. See? It wasn't just something that came up out of nowhere. She just hasn't seemed happy for a really long time. They get it. They understand. 
Oh, what a relief. We worked as a family, though dysfunctional, for years, long before Robin was here. But we were making it work for the sake of the kids. Why would you be miserable so that your kids could be slightly less miserable? Like, I genuinely believe Truly's doing better. I mean, hell, if she wanted to, like, build, stay here and build on the property and date, I would have no problem with that. So do you consider... Why would I date anybody in Flagstaff? No, I'm not going to stay here. Do you consider, like, Maddie no longer part of the family? Because she reality, moved away I think as she's well. running Is off that, to like, Utah. what you're saying? Literally, to be around her family, find a new husband. Moving away doesn't separate yourself from your family. It just means you're moving away. That's it. You're still part of the family. I am not in that place right now. Well, <laughs> sorry. I had to get to that place <laughs> because of you. I've been in the same situation with Cody. I was in a bad situation with this online personality because I knew what I needed from Cody and I wasn't getting it. I asked him to just not stay there for a little bit and he's never come back. I hate that part so much because he so many times like forced himself back into my mom's house and here he is not fighting for Mary at all. Like, she was there from the beginning. She started this whole thing. I strongly believe that it was because of Mary that the family got together in the first place. Like, she really is the George Washington of sister wives. I don't remember um, history at all, so maybe that was incorrect. I will never say that the problem strongly within agree. our family is plural marriage. Strongly agree. The problem isn't plural marriage. It's just that some people don't click. And honestly, some people aren't meant for plural marriage. And it's not that plural marriage is bad. It's that they don't, they just don't click at all. And that's okay. And my mom wasn't meant for plural marriage. And maybe she was for a second, because here I am, you know, the greatest thing to come from it. That had to be fate. But it's just not for some people. Hey, hey, it's Brian and Cody. Check it in. Yes. Post wedding. Brian, how's, how's, how's marriage? So marriage is good. Still surviving it. <laughs> surviving. Uh, so far, Judith has decided that she's still happy and hasn't left me. Surviving. Before the wedding, I'm like, Brian, hey, brother, listen, I just have to ask you, are you sure you're doing this? Are you sure you're doing the right thing? It was kind of uh, a little unnerving right at the last second for him to say, are you sure you want to do this? We're here. Everyone's here. We're, we're doing this. So it's too late. It is so funny to watch my dad have conversations with people because, like, from my perspective, he's just talking and talking to himself and there happens to be another person in the room and he'll, like, say something he finds funny and, like, if somebody found it funny, you know, what they would laugh. He's the one that laughs. I just, it's so funny. Sometimes it's frustrating because you, like, never get a word in. So, today I sold my bed. Like, Cody and I have been talking about how to separate furniture. I told him I was going to sell the bedroom set. I don't want to take it with me. I just want to start all over. Yeah, that's baggage. I was really hurt when Christine told me she was selling the bedroom set. As I was laying in bed, I just thought, you know, this is the last night I'm going to be in this bed. Gosh, it's nice. That is so cute. I just laid there for a while, and I just let myself remember good times in this bed and hard times in this bed and giving birth to my babies in this bed. Okay, that's less gross. So she didn't give birth to me. So, in the bed, she, I, I am from her womb. Him being in my space, it was toxic. I'm not taking toxic with me. I mean, starting a new relationship at 49, I don't know, I hope. I hope that I can find love again. I hope that I can be in a relationship with someone who loves me. Now she's 15, online dating, woo woo very successful. I would rather be alone and love myself than to be with someone who doesn't love me. Self-love slay. Online dating, I've heard is hard. Never had to do it. Funny story. I got kicked off of Tinder when I was in like middle school or something because I was like, I wonder. Or like high school, uh, the point is I was underage and I should not have been on it. And I've been banned forever, but I don't really need it anymore. So.
Isabel and Trulia and I are gonna get into a car and drive cross country because we are moving Isabel permanently. She's really nervous, this is hard. She puts on a wicked awesome brave face. It's just me or Trulia totally like swipe, side swipe him. Packing all of my stuff up into my car and mom's and Trulia's stuff because they're staying with me in North Carolina. And it's my last day here in Flagstaff. Woo! I'm gonna miss her, of course, but like we can chat over the phone. She's like my favorite sister. I don't know if I'm allowed to say that, but like we're really close and it's but like we're really close. It's not gonna be the same. She's amazing. Having one room empty. I'm gonna miss her so much. I'm so glad we get one last adventure together. Mix, you huh? have no idea how important this is to her. The pancake mix. Yeah, it'll fit right there. It's perfect. Right here, so we're gonna leave that with one room. I think that if he had it his way, he would pack it himself. Speaking of the pancake mix, super important to Isabel. She made me and Bea pancakes when we visited, like, immediately the first morning that we were there. I wouldn't want to travel with Christine at this point. The hardest part of my whole life, whole life, is that my kids don't have a great relationship with their dad. Well, that's not your fault. You know what's sad, too, is they don't know how amazing he is, either. I think I had my dad smile. Okay, I'll let you see Have a good trip. Thank you, bye. It's hard leaving not knowing when I'm going to see him again. Oh my god. She's so cute. How you doing, love muffin? Oh my god. I'm, I don't know when I'm going to be back here. I'm sister wives. Okay, it's over. Um, mm, so interesting. So much happened. Ooh, Terry Clark. That was our little realtor lady. Or person. Once again, there was discussion about like the divorce and should she do it? And is she breaking up the family? And obviously we're still together. We're still like a family. We still like get together. I'm going to have like an engagement party and like they're going to be there. So it doesn't, it didn't destroy it, but it's, it's like, I don't know, almost like a little bit of a privilege that I get to like look back and see how this made people feel. And like, hear the conversations they had. Cause like, this is stuff that most kids are not privy to in their relationships. Um, getting worried about Janelle's RV, the, the every time we see it in, the, in each episode, it looks like something worse is going on or there's gonna be a problem. And I just don't know what the breaking point for her is gonna be. It must be super stressful for her, but she seems to be enjoying it really well. And then Isabel with not knowing like when she's gonna see dad again, when she's moving to North Carolina, probably feel insanely weird just wild to drive away and that's like the last time you see him in we don't even know how long after that i'm gonna be doing the 10 most popular questions for my lovely viewers the first one is from pam schultz now that you are eight episodes in has your opinion on anyone changed yes my opinion on robin has actually improved my opinion on my dad has gotten worse is it making you angry or sad angry um this it's pretty frustrating seeing the way people are behaving and especially like on the camera. Then Bookworm asks, does Cody ever visit the kids that are out of Flagstaff? I don't think so. I don't think he goes out of his way specifically, but I did hear that he visited McKelty when she gave birth to the twins. I also heard that he doesn't visit Maddie and her kids. I think he's very selective with who he chooses to visit. And I think that the ones that he does choose to visit happen to be the ones that he favorites. Kay says, when Cody said that if they didn't have a custody agreement, the state would take truly. Did he actually believe that maybe a QAnon thing? Or is he making it up as a scare tactic to get Christine to do what he wants? So he's a smart guy. I don't think that his intentions were malicious, but I do think that he was making it up as he went. Because that makes no sense. Either way, they were never legally together. And either way, my mom was the primary care provider. A parenthood, so there's no way that anybody would come to take Trudy away, especially since she was in a solid situation where she was very healthy and such. Then Bookworm once again asks, why do you think Cody hides from the show that he is in the gun business? I don't know about that he tends to talk a lot or from what i've seen he tends to say that he's investing in things and i think he might just be uncomfortable with admitting that he's like in the gun business because of the political conflict about it and despite the fact that he seems very clearly conservative um 
it seems like this is not something he's comfortable with talking about. Maybe. D loves Dave says you were so young when the show first started. What are your first memories of being filmed? My very first memory of being filmed, like off the top of my head, my mom came to wake me up as she usually did for school or something, and there was this huge like light in my face, and um like as, as my eyes grew accustomed to the light, I noticed it was like a camera. And also that the producer was like very fun to play with and sometimes he would take our arms and like swing us around and we would like beg him to keep going and he would get like so exhausted so quickly. Um, just like fun things like that. All right, then Kay again says in almost every episode like this when we see Robin cry many times and she liked this in real life. Yeah, Robin is a very like emotionally comfortable person. She doesn't seem very afraid to share her tears. I'm wondering if you kids see this side of her in real life. Is it surprising to see this or are you like, yeah, that's Robin. That's Robin. Lauren asks, are any of your family members anti-MLM? I don't think so. Have any family members ever discussed the predatory nature of MLMs with each other? So our family um, naturally benefits from MLMs because MLMs are kind of uh, created in a way that if you are already famous, if you already have like a platform, then you will do well with the MLM. I think the predatory part of MLMs doesn't apply to them because it's mostly people that don't have a platform that aren't successful in it. So I would recommend if you are, this is just my opinion, if you're interested in getting an MLM, make sure you are first like established as a person. People know who you are because otherwise it's going to be very hard and that's why my family is very successful in it and I don't think that my family is very much like bite the hand that, he, that feeds you because MLMs have been very financially helpful for this family. Sarah L says, why does Robin want Mary to stay so badly? Is it a religious belief that they must be living polygamy? Who are the moms have left the church? Has your dad left? Um, as a family, it doesn't seem like we talk a lot about like who's in the church and who's not. I think most of us are basically out of the FLDS church. I think Robin wants Mary to stay so badly because if Mary is gone, it just solidifies more to the fact that, of what Robin believes as the family being like over and completely separated. Jessica Butler says, are Robin and Mary actually as close as they seem? I think they were, but now I no longer think they are because if I was in Mary's position, I wouldn't actively try to be like super close with the woman who my ex-husband is with. Um, it's a popular opinion that R and K mostly want her to stay for her income. <gasps> Oh my god. That actually makes a lot of sense. Um, I don't know about that, but it would make a lot of sense if it were true. All right, and those are the questions. I think it was a little bit more than 10 just because a few people had multiple questions, which is great. I'm glad they had lots of questions, and I'm glad I was able to answer them. This was my reaction to season 17, episode 8, and if you like this kind of content, please consider subscribing to my channel, liking, commenting, letting me know how you felt, or maybe if you didn't like this episode as much, or maybe you really liked it and you were like, I love seeing more Isabel content, love seeing more RV content. Either way, it was a pleasure to do this, and I hope I will see you all next time. Thank you so much.